Yeah, yeah, so I'm here with Jub Jub, the same day as the MGT in our second OG reunion. Um, of course, Jub Jub, known Melty Blood enthusiast, plus our fanatic, as well as uh, in gen a general, like, obscure games. Uh, number one Hiso Tensoku player! Yes, number one Hiso Ten Tensoku player. Uh, we've had a saga of a number of Kyoto Team first Wait, wait, as well. wait, wait, I have to show off my wrist. Oh, yes, yes. I have yes. to show off my support. Okay, okay. Uh, here what she are we is. Grabbing? Oh my goodness, look no, at this commitment. So the commitment right here. My friend here. who went to Toho Fest got me this. He got ninth in Soku. Oh my what, goodness. Out of, out of like, what, 30? Wait, to Toho Fest, is that like, uh, does that happen in the States? Uh, it, yeah, it was in, it was in LA and he was in Torrance. Oh my so goodness. He was, it was like right at home. Wow. So he signed up for Soku. Okay. I got wow. nine. That's oh sick, that's sick. So a good piece of lore to add to the Jub Jub collection. So, uh, Jub Jub, how'd you feel today? I mean, there's a lot going on, there's MGT, you play some casuals. Dude, it was, it's fucking fantastic. I just yeah, yeah. seen like all these people I haven't seen in a while, I'm seeing you. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing Zed, my man Sergio, and we got Tig too. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I have, to, I have to ask you. So, I, I asked Zenryoku, he was one of the first to interview, and admittedly, I had a lot of energy learning compared to now, but, um, I, have to I was wondering if Plus Star was in the books at all in terms of casual matches. I know you guys like, had a good set of uh, Plus Star uh, oh, matches yeah, yeah. in the last Ojo reunion. Yeah, I, um, it's just because I promised Monkey Melty, or I promised Big Monkey Melty ah, one, okay. so I had to get it in. Gotcha. But yeah, Plus Star is definitely in the books. Okay. But Tink just said if he doesn't play Plus Star, he'll die. <laughs> so. No, fair enough, fair well, enough. Well, that would lie to me, though. So we, I can't play Plus Star with him, though. <laughs> no, you gotta get your good dose of Melty. I mean, that, that game is awesome. Speaking of which, uh, what, like, there's a lot of modern games that obviously don't meet the charm of these, like, older games, but what do you feel like is your favorite modern game? Oh, and it's absolutely, I think you know this answer for yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. but we have to put it out there. Yeah. It's KOF 15. And why? It's so great. It really feels like they, they wanted to try hard to capture, like, the feel of, how, like, how old KOF works, but they also wanted to, like, streamline it in a way that, like, you know, like, removes a bit of, like, the clunkiness of old KOF games. Yeah. And I think it really comes together perfectly. Like, the new mechanics, like, they feel, like, Shadow Strike is, like, perfect. It's, like, strong in its own way, but it's, like, not overtuned. They didn't, like, push it too hard. Yeah. They, like, made it, like, exactly where it, like, needs to be, and it's just perfect for that. I like the new max system changes. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, I saw, I, I see some KO14 matches, they're like max voting off of like every TV. Yeah. I definitely think max mode is in a healthy state. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Also, I mean, I agree with all those. Um, I do also think KO15 seen a lot of balance issues. They're, they're weird ones though, but. Like, yeah, I think it's definitely, like right now it's definitely healthier than how it was in season one though. Yeah. I'm um, just because like Cronin, like having like that crazy reward off the XDP. Like skewed the rewards so much. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's, it's not really something that should feel that I feel like should exist in a KOF game, where you get punished like that hard for like uh, a DP. <laughs> yeah. Like okay, if your opponent does like DP and then like does like super straight up, it's just like they gambled everything. Yeah. yeah. But like Crona didn't have to gamble anything. He just did EXP. Yeah, and both sides cover both sides get a lot of damage. It was absurd. <laughs> um, so modern games out of the way. What are you most looking for? Not out of the way, but uh, favorite modern game out of the way. What are you most looking forward to in the future in terms of the games that are about to release? Um, definitely, I'm excited for Street Fighter VI. Um, okay. Like, I'm like a little personally biased because I got like a friend back in NorCal who's like uh, really excited for it, and I'm hoping like this is like the game that like gets him to like invest a little more seriously into fighting games. Yeah, that's my personal hope. Oh, awesome. Okay, so add that personal touch. We went, we like had like a little thing going with Strive, but it like ultimately like kind of fizzled out because I, I was like. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like not as willing to commit to like continuing the game. Yeah, no, fair enough. Plus, Star is just too good. <laughs> it is. No, I agree with that. Um, any last words you want to say to the Jubna fans out there? Uh, I don't know if there are. Jub there probably are. Jub there are Jubna fans. Trust me. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for supporting me, watching my game. I don't know. If I can say supporting you, but like. Well, I mean, the UCI fans are here too. So. <laughs> Thanks to everyone, you know, who's like on their eyes on me, like enjoy my gameplay. Yeah. Keep yeah, playing yeah. like awesome old games. Awesome. Uh, play Houston Tensoku. Um, I, I will, I will somehow find a way to put people on that game. Okay. It's like Loki kind of hype. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to see that. Happen. All right, thank you so much, Jeff.